Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this video is going to be demonstrating why you should burst fire the assault rifle, primarily when you get into that sort of medium and long range area. So by doing this, it's going to increase the effectiveness of the assault rifle quite a bit in terms of accuracy and how many bullets you hit at that range. So we'll take a look at a couple different ways to sort of demonstrate that, looking at sort of a full auto compared to a burst. Uh, comparing sort of the effectiveness of it and the, the bullet spread and things like that. So starting off, just sort of comparing the two, we'll look at shooting this wall sort of at this distance that we're here. So we're sort of at that medium range area. Um, I'll try my best to control the vertical recoil so we sort of keep everything in this one singular area. So for this first portion of it, I'm going to do just a full auto, uh, fire the gun until the clip is empty and see what that looks like. Alright, so now here we can sort of see what that bullet spread looks like uh, on full auto. And then now I'm going to do the exact same thing, uh, same spot on the wall, same distance. However, rather than full auto, uh, every second or so I'm just going to quickly let go of the trigger and then re-engage to do a series of burst shots. And that's actually going to sort of reset the recoil and reset the bullet spread of the gun. And we'll look at that bullet spread and see what that looks like. So I'll try and do a screenshot so you can sort of look at them at the same time, but right off the bat you can sort of tell that this is much tighter than the first one. Um, and for the most part it's still basically a full auto gun if you can do those bursts fast enough. So probably an even more effective demonstration of this is actually shooting at another player. So we have, a, you can see here, a player across the map on Bazaar. And we'll sort of do the same thing that we did against the wall, sort of comparing the two. Starting off, I'll do full auto. So I'll empty a full clip on him, um, just holding down the trigger the entire time and see what that does. So there you see we were able to break his shields, but he's still alive. Um, now we'll do the exact same thing uh, using burst fire instead. So obviously much more effective. We have 11 bullets left and we were able to actually kill him. So um, the burst fire is significantly more effective at range when you are using the assault rifle. All right, uh, so yeah, that was just a really quick video on the assault rifle. Um, you know, once you start getting into that medium and long range area using the gun, uh, really try and use burst fire if you can. It'll help quite a bit in landing shots and your accuracy. Um, short range, obviously, it's not going to be quite as impactful, but still um, a, a really nice way to sort of get more out of the assault rifle when you're using it. So um, hopefully that was helpful for you, and uh, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye.